Okay, I'm going to talk about connecting components on a breadboard in series. So, you want to start with whatever components you need. So, I'm going to use, for example, uh, some LEDs. And because I'm using LEDs, I always, always, always need uh, at least one resistor connected to them. Uh, too much current will very easily overload the LEDs. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create a simple circuit with a resistor and an LED. So I'm going to connect my resistor to my power source. So I'll connect it here. And then connect that to row 20. Okay, so now I have my resistor connected. Now if I want to connect another component in series, that means after it, in a row, then what I want to do is I want to make sure that that component is plugged into the same row on the breadboard as my resistor. So in this case I'm using an LED and because I'm using an LED I want to make sure that the positive end of the LED is connected to my resistor because I have my resistor plugged in to the positive part of the breadboard. Then I want to make sure that I don't plug the short end of the LED into the same row like this. So I don't want to do this right? because then I have no connection with my LED. Uh, so I'm going to take it out. I'm going to make sure that my long end is connected to row 20 and I'm going to put my short end into row 22. Right? So right now these two components are connected in series with each other. So if I were to plug in a wire, I could connect my LED to ground with a wire. So I'm going to put the wire on the same row as the LED ends and I'm going to plug it into my ground like that. Okay, now I have a complete circuit and if I plug in a battery, so I have a 9 volt battery here, then I should see my LED light up just fine. So there's negative, here's positive, and there we go. Okay, works just fine. Well, what if I wanted to put another LED in series with this one? Well, what I need to do is I need to get rid of this wire that's at the end of the LED, and I want to replace it with another component. So I'm going to take that wire out, and I can take my, again, positive, because the electricity is flowing from positive through here. So I'm going to connect my positive end of the LED to the negative end of my first LED. And I'm going to skip two rows again, so I'm going to put the long positive end of the LED into row 22, and I'm going to put the negative end in row 24. Now I can take my wire again, and I'll plug it into the same row as the negative part of the second LED, and I'll plug it into the negative part of the breadboard and I'm going to put my power supply back together and there we've got both LEDs are on. Okay, Now this illustrates something else important about series circuits. If you have components in series, if you notice how both of these LEDs are dimmer than the circuit before where I only had one LED, that's a key thing to remember about series circuits. The more components you have in series, the more you're going to drain how much voltage you have. So I start with 9 volts and each component takes away a little bit of that until I get to zero. For example, say at the moment my resistor is taking up 3 volts and my LEDs each are taking up 3 volts. That means there's only 3 volts going across these LEDs at the moment. But if I had my original circuit well, my electricity gets split up a little bit differently. Now I only have two components to split between, so that means maybe my resistor is getting 4.5 volts and my LED is getting 4.5 volts instead of the 3 that it was getting when two of these were connected. 
Okay, you can do that with any components. Connecting them in series, you could use a capacitor, you could use a switch. Um, let me do a switch very quickly as well, because this is also one that many people struggle with. So I'm going to move my LED over a little bit to give me some room. So I have my LED plugged into row 20. It's connected to my resistor, and it comes out on row 22 over here. So I want my switch to start on row 22 like this. And remember, the switch goes in the middle of the breadboard. Now my switch is going to take in the electricity from the LED here. It's going to go into that pin. And when I press the switch, it should come out on this row, which means that I need to connect this row to my ground. So I'm going to do that. I'll take my wire again and I'll connect it to the same row as ground and if I plug it in and press the switch it works. So now I have a switch in series with an LED in series with a resistor. Mm -hmm. Thanks!